The human body contains trillions of individual cells, and each one requires oxygen in order to survive. When cells are too far from a blood vessel, they do not get enough oxygen. This induces a stress condition called hypoxia. The cell responds by emitting a distress signal, a molecule called VEGF. When this distress signal reaches a blood vessel, the vessel cell most nearby transforms into a tip cell. It produces long extensions, called philopodia, that seek the direction of the distress signal. The tip cell that receives the strongest signal produces its own molecular signal, preventing its neighbors from also becoming tip cells. It tells them to become stalk cells instead. A new blood vessel begins to form as these stalk cells divide while the tip moves towards the source of the distress signal. When the two tip cells, coming from different blood vessels, meet, they work together to complete the tube and blood starts flowing through the new vessel. The young vessel matures and stabilizes and recruits additional cells, called parasites, that help sealing up the junctions in the vessel wall. normal biological process is warped. Tumors contain large masses of hypoxic cells, which emit an excessive distress signal. This overstimulates the cells of the blood vessels nearby. Many tip cells emanate from the vessel wall, not communicating properly with their neighbors. The walls of the growing vessel are an irregular chaos of tip cells and crippled stalk cells, and the gaps between the cells are not closed. Blood cannot flow efficiently through these leaky and obstructed vessels. Thus, the tumor cells remain screaming for more oxygen, perpetuating the malformed blood vessels. The holes in the vessel walls permit escaped tumor cells to enter into the bloodstream, where they can move to another location in the body to start a secondary tumor. Recent studies by VIB scientists show that by lowering the activity of an oxygen sensor called PHD2 in the blood vessels of mice, the vessel formation towards tumors goes smoother. The vessel cells are less sensitive to the distress signal of the tumor, and they grow into a new form, the phalanx cell. These phalanx cells form a tight formation, looking like a military phalanx of the old Greeks, a closed wall of shields. Thus, the blood vessels in the tumor are able to function properly. The bloodstream through these new vessels is smooth and efficient, transporting more oxygen. The tumor no longer cries for more oxygen, and tumor cells no longer can sneak into the bloodstream because the vessel wall is closed. Chemotherapeutic drugs now easily reach the tumor where they can do their work, combating cancer. VIB researchers are actively working to elucidate the formation of phalanx cells and blood vessels in general. They try to find a drug that does the same as the genetic alteration they used in the mice, lowering the activity of the oxygen sensor to provoke the formation of phalanx cells, block the formation of secondary tumors, and facilitate chemotherapy. Their findings can be applied in the treatment of cancer and might be beneficial for human health in general.